numbers 12 and 13 have logarithms in there. They're actually kind of two different structures here. If you look at number 12, it has log base 7 of something plus log base something of something equals log base 7 of something. There's a logarithm on both sides of the equation. In fact, there's a logarithm in each term. For number 13, the structure is a little different because you have a logarithm and then minus, which we'll work with that later, but it's a operation, and then minus a log base 3, but on the right side, there's just a 4. There's not a logarithm. So those are two th that's something you want to look at when you are solving problems with logarithms. So let's go ahead and look at number 12 here. So what we want to do with logarithm equations is simplify each side as much as we can. And we do that by using the rules of logarithms. So we see here that two logarithms with the same base are added. We can use the product rule, uh, which we could then write log base 7 of, and we can multiply these, these two arguments. So log base 7 of 2 times x squared plus 7. And that's equal to log base 7 of 64. And what we can think here is we have log base 7 of some value equals log base 7 of some value over here. Well, those two values have to be equal to each other because it's both log base 7. And so we can write, we want to figure out what that is, so we can just have 2 times x squared plus 7 is equal to 64. And then we'll go ahead and solve this. We can distribute the 2, or we could divide both sides by 2. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's distribute in this case. So 2x squared plus 14 equals 64. We'll go ahead and subtract 14 from both sides. We can do that in our head. So we have 2x squared. 64 minus 14 is 50. Divide both sides by 2. We get x squared equals 25. And we take the square root of both sides. Don't forget plus or minus. So x equals plus or minus 5. We need to make sure we don't take the logarithm of a negative, so we check to see if our positive and negative 5 work for x, and they will, because they're squared on both of them, so our answer is plus or minus 5. Moving to number 13, this is the one with a different structure. We actually have a constant over here on the right side. We still start off similarly, where we simplify the left side into one term, so this is subtraction, so our, we'll use the uh, quotient rule. We know that if we have subtraction of logarithms with the same base, we can do log base 3 of x squared minus 9 over 7. That's equal to 4. And now we don't have a logarithm on both sides, so what we do is we convert to exponential form. And that's 3 to the 4th power is equal to x squared minus 9 over 7. And we'll finish solving this. 3 to the 4th is 81. Equals x squared minus 9 over 7. To get rid of that 7, we would multiply both sides by 7. which gives us 567 equals x squared minus 9. Go ahead and add 9 to both sides. Adding 9 to both sides would give us 576. And we take the square root of that, and I believe that square root of 576 is 24. So we put uh, plus or minus 24. Again, we want to check our answer to make sure we can put a negative 24 and positive 24. Well, if you put it in here, you'll get a positive number. So our answer is plus or minus 24.